Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and in this video I'm going to be going over the new update. I'm going to be reading the patch notes for update 0.7.8, which took place on the 6th of May, 2020. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so this is the pet update, version 2. There was a pet update like a month ago, or something like that. And yeah, this is pretty cool. There's a, a couple small things added that's not very much. But the biggest thing about this update is information that it gave us on dungeons. And I will be talking about dungeons and a couple extra things after I go through the changelog, so stay tuned for that. First of all, taming skill and pet score. Basically, you level up taming skill to get plus pet luck. As you can see from this picture here, taming level 1, gain 1% extra pet XP. You gain more pet XP and you get plus pet luck. Pet luck basically just makes it easier to get pets. It makes it so you have a higher chance for mobs to drop pets and all that good stuff. And we all know what magic find is. Basically it gives a higher chance to get rare items. Pretty easy. New pets. There are 16 new pets. Now, this is very cool. Because that's a lot of pets. 16 is not a small number of pets. I expected there would be a couple. Not this many. So let's go over to the places where you can find them. First of all, you can craft some. The spooky event shop, zoo event, mobs around slayer areas, fishing bosses, dark auction, and mining ore. I wanted to talk about the mobs around the slayer areas and mining ore specifically. So the mobs around the slaying slayer areas, I'm guessing, are like the crypt ghouls, maybe voracious spiders, and old wolves. I'm guessing those are the three mobs that you could get them from. Or maybe just any mob in general where you grind for Slayer XP. So I guess we'll just have a chance to drop a pet, which is cool. And Mining Ore. Now the only thing I can think of for this is that you have a small chance of getting a pet when you're Mining Ore in a Deep Cavern. Or any ore spawned by Minion or something like that. Yeah, I'm not sure, but I'm fairly certain that's what it is. Now Pet Items and Candy. Pet items are really cool. Basically, you can buy these pet items from one of the NPCs. We'll talk about that later and I'll also show you the NPC after the change log. So basically, you buy the pet items from an NPC and you can put them on one of your pets to get extra crit chance, crit damage, health, strength, defense, whatever you need, you can buy one for. So it's pretty cool. You can only hold one pet item on a pet and it is consumed on use. So keep that in mind. Pet candy. You can get pet candy from the carrot collection. There are three tiers. Tiers 1, 2, and 3, obviously. And tier 3 gives you a lot more instant XP boost to your pet than tier 1. Pretty simple. New NPCs. Cat the pet sitter. And pay cat to take care of your pets for a while and come back later to collect it once its rarity has been upgraded. Now that's pretty significant. If you get a rare Enderman pet from the end while grinding Enderman, you can give it to Cat, and it'll upgrade it to an epic. And I'm assuming you can do that one more time to get your epic pet to a legendary, which is amazing. I actually checked out this NPC already. I have a rare Enderman pet, and I decided to give my pet to Cat to see what would happen. Basically, it costs 2,000 coins, and I can collect the pet back in a week. So yeah. I'm pretty happy to know that you can upgrade the rarity of pets now, and that's pretty cool. Zog the pet item vendor. Buy various pet items to boost your pets. Again, that's the pet shop. I already talked about that. And George the pet collector. Basically, you can sell pets that you don't need to this NPC. I tested this with a rare Enderman pet as well. He gave 2,000 co coins for it. Very small amount for a rare Enderman pet, but it is only a rare Enderman pet, so... I guess. There have recently been reports of a malicious endstone protector lurking within the end. Now, this I think is going to be a pretty big deal. I'm thinking this mini boss will spawn every hour or two hours, just like the tarantula, not tarantula, uh, the brood mother in the spider's den. Basically, you go to the stop, top of the spider's den, the brood mother will spawn anywhere. Uh, in between two hours and basically you sit there wait for it to spawn and it'll drop a spider's talisman. I'm thinking it's going to be the same for the endstone pet. 
not the instant pet, the instant protector. Balancing and small changes. I'm not going to go over the balancing. If you have any of these pets, feel free to pause the video here and read the differences. Small changes. Increased mining and fishing XP by 50%. 50% is significant. That's a... Uh, it's going to be a lot easier to get mining and fishing XP now, which is cool. Increase max owned pets to 100. I did skip over this because I do not know what that means. Uh, basically, you can now have 100 pets, which is crazy. If you have 100 pets, then I don't know what to say. I have like 5. But uh, yeah, you can now have 100 pets. Added magic find, sea creature chance, and pet luck to player profile. It doesn't really matter, it's just cosmetic. Added active player to menu lore. Cool. Added active pet to player viewer. I mean, usually you can see people's pets, but if they have it hidden, I suppose you can now see it. Made fishing rods only deal damage to fishing mobs. Apparently there was a AFK in farming exploit. I don't know about that, but apparently there was. Basically, fishing rods only deal damage to fishing mobs, so your sea walkers, your squid, whatever you catch while fishing. I used to kill zombies with my fishing rod from the graveyard, and I tried it again, and it now just kind of bounces off them or goes through it. So I have experienced this change already. And small buffs to boys' armor, strength, and defense. Unless it's significant which it does say small buffs, then it's not going to make much of a difference. The blaze armor still isn't that good. Okay, so now I want to talk about dungeons. I don't have that much to say, but there was a post on the forums about an admin that was talking with players about the dungeons update. Now, he said it was supposed to come out soon after this update. I'm thinking it's going to be out in one to two weeks. Iceblades made a video on this. You can check it out if you want to. Um, or you can read the post yourself. It doesn't matter. Yeah, so the Dungeons update is going to be out within one to two weeks, which I'm pretty happy with. I mean, we've been waiting for this for ages. Also, there was a little bit of controversy about Nons not being able to play Dungeons. Now, if you don't know, a Non is anyone without a rank. Well... That's not what it really means, but that's what people use it for. So, that's not going to be true. I can almost guarantee it. If you don't have a rank, you will be able to play dungeons. Maybe not at first. Maybe the first couple days or a week, you might not be able to go into dungeons just to keep the server from not crashing. Because if there's an overly large amount of people going to the dungeons, then the server will lag significantly. But I can guarantee you, if you do not have a rank, you will be going into dungeons. So, the reason this is a thing is because one of the players asked the admin if nons were going to be allowed in the dungeons. The admin said no. But the player worded the question very weirdly, and it kind of, even I read it wrong at first, so... I think the admin also read it wrong. Keep in mind, the chat was probably going pretty fast. And I think he just misread it and said the wrong answer. So yeah, let's check out some of these new changes on Skyblock. Okay, so this is the house where all the new pet NPCs are. It's right next to the redstone house. You can see the bank and the auction house right over there. It's also the house where you can buy the bee pets from bee. So first of all, when you walk in, you'll see an NPC called Zog. This is where you buy your pet items. I don't know if this has all the pet items in the game, but it's a good many of them. So basically, you can right-click on your pet to give it this item. That's what it. That's the description. And yeah, as you can see, it gives various buffs. We've already talked about this. And then this right here is the cat sitter. Well, cat sitter, pet sitter. So let's get out my Enderman pet and see what happens. So basically, higher cat uh, requires taming level 10, which is kind of a lot, and it also costs around 10,000 coins. Also, it takes six days for the rarity to be upgraded. So yeah, let's also check out a George on the top floor. 
As you can see, he is offering 2,000 coins for my rare Enderman pet. I am not going to do that. Let's check out the area that was newly added in the last update. Also, there are new, no new fairy souls in this update. Okay, so this new room is right inside the crypt cave. As you can see, this is the crypt area right here. If you just keep continuing down, you'll see three new NPCs. You cannot currently do anything with these NPCs, but this is going to be where Dungeons is. I know that because the gatekeeper, welcome to the catacombs. The catacombs was confirmed to be the first dungeon, which is pretty cool. I mean, there's also this shop over here. I'm guessing you can buy dungeon items to help you out. And then there's the blacksmith over here. Maybe new dungeon reforges or something like that. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, this is going to be pretty cool. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next Minecraft video. Bye, everyone.